Hey everybody, Joe here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to use Q Uninstaller. It's an application that lets you uninstall programs easily. Now, uh, if you go to the project page, it's on SourceForge. The status does say it's abandoned, but it still works on modern Ubuntu, and there's not really much to do with it. Like, you know, the the program works. There's no new features that really need. So it's I would call it a complete program. You know, maybe in the future in newer versions of Ubuntu or Debian, it's not going to work right, but uh, I've installed it on many versions of Ubuntu and Debian and it works just fine in my testing. Anyways, so to start this off, you're going to want to open up a terminal and do sudo apt install python pip and just do that. Go ahead and install it. That's going to install a bunch of Python libraries that you're going to need to run this app because this app is Python based. And uh, specifically it's Python 2.7. Now while that's going, we can go into the downloads folder and we can see the Q uninstaller thing is here. And we can open this with software install if we want to. We can also install it with the terminal once this is done. But I'm uh, going to let this go through and get that done. So once that is done, we can go ahead and install PyXDG, and that is important to use because QUninstall needs it, and it doesn't really install that automatically, but uh, this is the way that I have figured out it should be working correctly, is to just get PyXDG, PyD, sudo python pip, not apt as I almost did, PyXDG. Enter your password. And uh, if everything looks good, it should automatically be installed. The reason that I ran this is just in case. You know, sometimes when you install pip, it doesn't quite get it, but I found that just running that and installing that along with Python pip itself is usually the best way to go. And then once you've done that, Go to downloads and uh, just install the app. So sudo dpkg i q uninstaller, and then you're going to want to do sudo apt install f. That will correct all of the dependencies, the last ones that it missed, all the Qt4 libraries and whatnot. And uh, from here we can go look up Q on installer and uh, start it up. So as you can see, Q on installer is pretty basic, but it allows you to quickly uninstall things. So the thing that I'm going to uninstall is Kodi because this is a virtual machine and I don't really need it. So to uninstall Kodi, I can just click the uninstall button, click OK, enter the password at the prompt and it will go through and delete it. I recommend this program to anybody who's new to Ubuntu and wants a simple, easy way to uninstall things. You know, it's very useful. It goes through and it's all done through the terminal in the package manager, but it's all wrapped up in a nice little loading screen. And uh, for those of you who don't really understand how the terminal works or maybe don't want to deal with it, you know, besides the initial setup, this is the best way to go. So the Q1 installer thing has finished, and now if we look through the list again, we do not see Kodi anymore. And you can go through and find a lot of these apps and just click the uninstall button, and it will uninstall the app just like that. Anyways, guys, that's how you use Q1 installer on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.